scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Every man's word carries his power. A judge's word carries his power. A military man's words carries his power. A man in that word is the power to change conditions hmm. conditions thou son of david have mercy on me and then he says what should i do that i may gain my sight and he ministered and the centurion said no I know how these things work. I am a man under authority. I also have soldiers under me. You too, you are under authority. The words that you speak carry the authority of the kingdom you reap. That same hour, the Bible says, at that same hour, the sick was healed. What then a miracle? It happened when the word of God, you see, if I speak by my strength as a man, you will not get zero results. There are some results you will get. For instance, so you, you won't get zero results. But the kind of miracle you are looking for now, the wisdom of men and the words of men cannot produce it. Are you seeing this now? Yes. So I am like that syringe. Remember my syringe example now? Yes. The syringe does not really matter. You look at what is about to enter your body. This was not made by some earthly research institutes. No. It is the word that created the heavens and the earth. I hope you know that God is an expert with fixing things that are wrong. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 and 2. It says, now the earth was dark and void and formless. What state is worse than that? And the spirit of God said, don't worry. We are used to this. We know what to do with this condition. The spirit of God began to hover around. And then verse 3. And Elohim said, light be. What was the result? There was light. The first manifestation of the word of God and his power. If the Bible says, and God said, let there be light. And we didn't hear anything. It means we should begin to get afraid. It means there are some things. Now, you see why the Bible keep, kept emphasizing that everything he said, he saw. He said, he saw. Do you know why? So that you will trust the words and the power that backs that words. That when God says it, he will see it. That means whatever you want to see, it is your assignment to make God say it. Because if he says it, ending him, that he has said it. He has said it in his word. And he will make what he has to be celebrating here. Every deliverance, every breakthrough. It has already happened according to scripture. But we need to make it happen in our lives, in experience. And it is when we remind him of what was said. Then he now says it again by the Holy Ghost. Let it be. The spirit and the bride say come. Why should you be surprised that someone who came here confused with doors closed by next week returns back with all doors opening. Now you understand 
remember my teaching on conditions closed doors is a condition it's not about the door it's a condition the door does not want to close or open it does not care if you lock it it will obey you and remain closed is that true how many of you have tried to close a door and it refused to close because something was wrong with the condition that keeps it locked so you check it up oh i made a mistake and then you change the condition and the door obeys you everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient let me repeat everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient you have not found the condition that makes it obedient everything if resources disobey you they have ever been obedient provided they came from god disobedience cannot come from god everything needed for life and godliness that came from god is still obedient your assignment is to understand the condition that activates that obedience this is the assignment of the word of god and this is the assignment of that enforcer called the power of god so as the word of god comes i have taught you here that the assignment of the anointing the energy the power of god the the anointing of the holy spirit has no assignment if the word of god has not gone forth because the anointing is merely an enforcer and a confirmer that means that if god says let healing happen the anointing moves to make what he said come to pass are we together now this is why words are powerful look how i'm listen listen this thing i'm teaching you is an office i'm not just teaching you an information i learned somewhere there are people sick right now as i'm talking they are still feeling the pain there are people oppressed you wouldn't believe the kind of back the, the truckload of demonic spirits oppressing people they are hearing me as i'm talking now i mean the spirits now and yet they will not go why because what i'm saying is not the word that sends them yet you see so when words now come when words come what do they do the holy spirit rides on those words into your destiny and conditions start changing and sometimes the conditions change so fast i'm saying this so that you will believe if not you will not be able to receive anything apostle as it is right now i'm feeling this pain yes you are right because there is a condition that keeps it there but do you believe that with one word something comes into your body there's something called anesthesia is that true and anesthesia i forgive me doctors forgive me oh the doctor is not here do you know that there they can give someone that injection and in a moment you will not feel pain around that area again for some hours am i correct on that what did the injection do thank you but you know the pain will come later on it's just that it's not needed for that time if science can be that fast and accurate that you inject someone immediately and you can even be carrying out the surgical procedure and the person is looking at you what happens when the word of god now comes into that system don't ask how will the eye condition go don't ask and don't think that this thing is some faking of no we're talking the word of god here so you came as a whole family apostle we don't even know what the we don't know what is wrong with us we just know that things are not working welcome you are in the right place You are in the right place. So when that word is sent, the word of God comes and starts looking at your entire family and with digital precision, okay, failure, disfavor, yokes, immediately, in seconds, it diagnoses it. But it does not stop there. It will start creating the conditions that makes those yokes and those causes to go.
and the impact is so powerful i am talking here and yet it will throw you physically on the ground i didn't push you all. i'm here talking and something is happening in the realm of the spirit and it comes like a plane landing on your destiny listen i'm not just entertaining you we are going to pray but beloved people listen the supernatural is real conditions can change let me repeat myself conditions can change when people reject you they are not rejecting you there is a condition you are carrying that makes them reject you when you are failing and fa he fails man of god you may be in ministry no increase no results respectfully speaking there may be a condition but when god speaks he said let there be and there was he said let it change that's why you see people return with all kinds of testimonies you think Joshua Selman in his power and strength is able to do this? No, no, no. But I know this mighty God. Not only because he appeared to me, I know. When Jesus appeared to me, I did not open the door for him to enter. I don't even know how he entered. The door is just for you. He entered anyhow. Don't ask how it will, he will enter your body. No. The doctors will say, lie down. And they will have to go through that incision and now begin to meticulously help you. But the Holy Ghost, oh, come on. Please, please, please. When I ask you to lay your hands, it's only a point of contact to help you, not help God. Ask the Holy Ghost how he entered the womb of Mary. He did not appear as bread and said, eat and it's me. No, no. Ask the Holy Ghost how he entered back into Jesus to resurrect him back to life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now hear me please. Everyone, I want you to look at the condition you have now because that is really what we have come to deal with. We, you call it sickness. You call it delay. You call it failure. You call it confusion. God calls it conditions. Abuja is a good land. Your territory is a good land. But it does not mean you will just be blessed like that. There is a condition. You can work for 30 years under the same condition you will have the same outcome. What does it mean to encounter God? It means to have an encounter that changes your conditions. Please find a way of believing what I am telling you. so you are sick apostle right now there is a situation i'm having hiv i'm having this you are right you are only describing a condition but watch the wonder walking power not the word of a man not the word of a monarch not the word of a the military the word of god when it was time for jesus to resurrect the dead he said lazarus if he just said come forth that would be rapture immediately because his power is sufficient to raise every dead body he had to mention the specific person because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit so when the word entered the realm of the spirit who is lazarus here you are the one come out i was sent to bring you out The powerful thing about faith is that faith can make you claim any name so if God speaks now and says so 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 person faith can tell you is your name too and it's your condition and God will honor it because what he says to one he says to all so you don't just sit down praying that you should call your name Lord just speak that's all I want let me hear what you are saying and let it 
where relates to my situation, I will not let that word pass me by. Listen. When the word of God comes, because I'm about to pray for you now, you have a responsibility, number one. Do not just think it is a man talking. No. No. I am only the voice echoing that word. That word is coming from the throne with fire, with power, with grace. I may not know your conditions. How do I stand here as a man and now begin to call your name and your conditions? It does not make sense humanly. It doesn't make sense scientifically. But when the Holy Ghost takes over, you see, so as healings and deliverances and all kinds of supernatural manifestations of the spirit come number one don't be distracted you must be focused god is walking in the midst of his people whether you are in any of the overflows down to the basement you are outside you are following online anywhere at all it does not matter we are talking jesus here Benny Hinn calls the Holy Spirit the unlimited presence of Jesus. I believe in miracles. I believe that a condition you came with, you actually can leave it there. Yes. So when prayers are going on, don't just be looking at other people. If you are sick in your body, you must believe that I'm ready to be healed. You have some lump, some growth. Don't sit down and say, how will it disappear? I've taught you. It's just an interplay of energy and matter. It is true. Some terminal disease, HIV, whatever blood condition, maybe genotype, whatever it is. Don't say God cannot heal you. You're here, you have all kinds of bone conditions. Don't sit back and say, look at the size of my bone. Can I walk? Brothers and sisters, we are talking the Lord Jesus Christ here. Exalted as both Lord and Christ. How about impartations? Some of you are in their need of many graces. Graces that create new conditions. You cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you are a piece of rag. It means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame. And I'm telling you in the presence of God that condition can change. When you say it's my background, what you are simply saying is there is a condition. God can give you another condition. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens. For in the sanctuary, God. So, as a normal human being, you can hug, you can shake, you can greet. But when Jesus comes, you will be amazed. The same words you were hearing from morning now does not become the words of a man again. When these words begin to come, please listen to me. I want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life. And what is it doing? Changing conditions. Changing conditions. And you check yourself and find out just like a dream is gone just like a dream and there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain but you believe at the instance of God's Word the power of God is touching that woman on purple help that woman I'm seeing like oil being poured on her oh madam your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you Jesus, the Son of God. Please pray strings for me. Take it higher. Listen, I used to watch this years ago in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman, T.L. Osborne, 
and I would see these people would just come with childlike faith, Reinhard Bonke. And when they would teach, they would tell you that Jesus is here. And you would think it's a joke. Within minutes, brothers and sisters, you will see all kinds of miracles. And I said, God, there has to be an explanation to this. Just like that. And then I learned that it is not just like that. When the anointing comes, when you are frying palm oil in the kitchen, women, look up please. You know what happens to that kitchen? As soon as fire, what happens? Sometimes the condition can be so harsh, it does not speak to you, but it will make you run out of that kitchen. So if you are a demon, for instance, when the fire is applied, And that kitchen is you there is something that that fire is able to do and it will make what was there help them to leave you see how deliverance happens yes just because a word is spoken be free be delivered no no it's not just a word speaking there there are innumerable company of angels the power of God moving from place to place what is the assignment to find out what is not consistent with the character of the christ we have called this a miracle service and the bible says everything adam called it that was the name thereof when jesus appeared to me and stretched his hands towards me I'm telling you, I know the light entered me. Whether it entered through my head, whether it entered through my chest, I don't know. Don't ask how the power of God will get into your body. <laughs> the power of God is not a needle. The power of God is not a tube that is passed through you. It can come in and begin to correct things. And that when it's time to testify, you will find yourself running to come and stand and say, Jesus this really happened how about conditions in your office how about conditions in your bank account how about conditions in your your life your family apostle we have tried and tried to build for seven years this house has refused to be completed i tell you there is a condition making that happen by the time god releases something upon you remember all blessings come from god i've taught you through man to man that is the dynamics like you hear people testify someone calls you even while service is going on and says where are you i don't know why i just feel like blessing you now you understand a condition reproach is a condition infirmity is a condition spirits merely enforce conditions that is the assignment in a human body or in an environment to enforce conditions conditions that create outcomes that negate the speakings of the word a miracle service therefore is a platform that allows the word of God in partnership with his power to move in the midst of his people and begin to correct conditions correction that can be scientifically proven spiritual in origin Miracles are platforms where both science and faith agree. Let me repeat myself. Miracles are platforms where both faith and science agree. Faith says be healed. Science confirms that it happened to you. Faith says be delivered. Science confirms that it happens. Every true miracle must have a scientific expression because they are the two platforms that explain man and the occurrences in our cosmos. Faith takes care of the realm of the spirit and the supernatural. Science gives interpretation and meaning to what happens in our physical environment. None of them is anti-God in itself. It starts from the realm of the spirit, light, and it manifests physically as light so the healing starts from the realm of the spirit and physically 
your life and your destiny your children physically like the dear ones who shared their testimony here can you imagine that one word just comes by the spirit and dear people of God look at this one word to a politician may God shift you and it will look like just a word until you see the forces that fought you begin to come and you will know that a condition has changed how about a businessman you're trying to do everything you know to do but there is a condition that authorizes both men and spirits to fight you my assignment tonight is to walk in partnership with the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit to engineer this transformation by turning the conditions in your life around and this by the grace of God will be faithfully done tonight are you ready please rise up on your feet just two prayer points and I'll begin to pray for you prayer point number one I'd like you to insist tonight please be intentional insist by way of prayer that these conditions the Bible says that the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen are eternal lift your voice and begin to pray the things that I see in a temporal, the sickness that I see is temporal, the oppression that I see is temporal. Is someone praying? Elamatoshi araba balagada vodo shekepa elamo sata de roshika ete brekete shebalado zaka Hallelujah Hallelujah The last prayer point Tonight it is I I began to sense this even before I left for the miracle service in Zaria Just help those under the anointing already I sense that tonight God is not only visiting individuals but God is extending it even to families I began to sense that right from Wednesday or so that you see there are some of our family members that may not have the faith or the discernment to receive but God is using you tonight as an altar not only to speak for yourself but to speak for families are you ready to pray now lift your voice in one minute and say father not just me but everyone connected to me please pray not just me is someone praying outside pray online pray jesus the lifter jesus the healer jesus the restorer Hallelujah. 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 The final thing I will tell you is please be sensitive to divine instructions. You see, under the influence of the Spirit, there are many things that don't make sense. But in the childlikeness of the gospel, Romans 15 and verse 19, let that be the last scripture. Let me show you something. Paul is speaking to the church in Rome 15 and verse 19 it says through mighty signs and wonders and by the power of the Spirit of God oh dear it says that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum, I have preached fully preached the gospel of Christ so the gospel is not fully preached until there are miracles signs and wonders right now just before we pray just stand still everybody where you are no shouting no nothing i just wanted to bring for me those who are under the anointing whether inside or outside just do what i'm asking you to do sing hallelujah Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord.
Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Because I, I just I began to see angelic activities just moving across inside and outside touching people and the lord is giving me an instruction just bring the people out some of you it's not just individuals god is touching families using individuals this is a miracle service now hold on please hold on please um the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing like fire i saw the number 43 and i'm seeing it come on people and the lord is telling me he's visiting foundations that's what i'm hearing Right now, I stretch my hands inside and outside. 43. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. Foundation. I've been visited by the Spirit of God. Negative foundation. Help them, please. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Bring them out. This is the place of surrender the word of god this is the place where your life is changed hallelujah now the lord is showing me chains i always see this in the miracle services I'm seeing chains on the feet of people. And the Lord is just asking me to stretch my hands. And right now as I stretch my hands, every chain, chains of ancestry that has held anyone down, bring them out. I decree and declare right now, chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I place the word of God upon your life, upon your destiny. Chains. Be broken. Chains. Be broken. Chains. Be broken. The Lord is still breaking chains. Chains are responsible for circles of retrogression. Retrogression. Nothing moving in your life. There are still more people inside, outside, following online. Anyone whose life has been stagnated. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Atmosphere, shit now, chains be broken, break out, Holy Spirit, who now, heaven's open, heaven's Hallelujah. open. Who is Olua Kemi? Hold on please. I'm hearing a name Kemi, Olua Kemi. We have to be very fast tonight 
God is visiting people. I'm hearing a name, Olua Kemi. I don't know who that is. Who is that? What's your name? Akemi. What's your name? Olua Kemi. From where? From your state. Or your state? Where are you from? From Ogbomosho. Ogbomosho. Lift your hands and shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That oppression leaves you now, never to return to you. Help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, hold on please. This woman, please come, bring her. Just be careful with the people with the... My God, tonight is a night of divine supernatural visitations. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Please listen to me. You see... The thing about the power of God is that he can step in in a moment. Moment. Who is Silas? I'm hearing Silas in my spirit. Silas. The Lord wants to break the yoke of retrogression and stagnation from that family. Silas. Please don't come out at random. Don't come out at random. We're organized people. This is a miracle service. Where are you from? State. Huh? Edo State, the person I'm talking about must be from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Sir. Where are you from? Give him the mic. Come. Where are you from? Edo State. Edo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, my friends. You believe in Jesus? Father, I'm praying for these people. All of these people, for that name, Olua Kemi. Two of you, the power of God is coming on you now. I'll pray for everybody, but two of you are just on fire. Two of you, right now. The supernatural power of God is coming on you. It's not something you can stand. This is the word of God. We're talking about the word of God here. Now in the name of Jesus, every oppression over every Olua Kemi. Help this woman so she doesn't fall on that bar, please. In the name of Jesus, madam, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, right now, I'm seeing light entering you. Let there be a, a miracle in your body right now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm seeing the power of God come on someone. I'm not seeing the name, but I'm seeing honorable there. I know this must be a politician. Right now as I'm speaking, a supernatural power of God. The Lord is saying he's breaking something connected to foundations. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead according to the word of the Lord I decree and declare that everything connected to ancestry and even foundations please let them not just get up and move like that there is a reason why we ask them to come out it's not for show at all in the name of Jesus let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now the Lord is ministering to me I'm seeing a family in total Plus mother and father, I'm seeing a family of seven. You came here. Where are you? Come. I'm seeing my left side. The Lord is telling me that they are from my left side. Here. Just somewhere here. Is there a family like that? Please come. A family of in total seven. This is what the Lord is showing me. Do we have anyone like that? Please make sure they are correct. Don't, we are not lying. We are not faking it. They came here. Let them come please. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. I decree and declare over all of you here who have come out by the Spirit, every devil that will not let you go, hear the word of the Lord. I declare by the rod of a higher priesthood, at the count of three, release their destinies now. One, two, three, go, go now. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and giving him a name above every other name be delivered now be delivered now in the name of jesus christ please where is the family i spoke about just vet them let's be sure that hallelujah seven Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that family right now.
Seven. This is what I'm seeing. I know what I'm seeing in my vision. Are they here? Let them stand here. I will pray for everyone who has come, but particularly. Family of seven, where are they? Okay, let me pray. And then everyone who has come, no problem, you can join them. Father, now, out of her, now, help that woman. Out, now, in the name of Jesus, release that family by the power of the Holy Spirit. Release them now, in the name of Jesus. Someone remove the child. If she's holding a child, so please remove the child so she doesn't fall with the child. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Hallelujah. Where are you from, sir? We first stay, but we stay in Lagos. You stay where? In Lagos. Sir. In Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray for you. These are all your children, the family. Yes. Father, look at me. I'm seeing your hands tied in the spirit and the Lord is saying to lose your hand. This is another family. That's all right. I'll pray for them. The, one of your daughters is going to be used by God. And the power of God is going to come on that person right now as I'm speaking. Father, I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, may that anointing that separates, that consecrates and makes mighty, may that grace rest on that one right now in the name of jesus christ and in the name of jesus i cut you away from this delay in the name of jesus christ and for this other family that has come in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare madam where are you from this woman where are you from from kogi state kogi state yes, sir. i want to pray for you Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. In Jesus' name. Jesus One more time. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. I decree and declare. Because I'm seeing a coffin in the realm of the spirit. Yes, you have been having dreams. Yes, Is that true? Yes, sir. And you see dead people in the dream. Yes, sir. Sometimes you even see that you are the one who died. Yes, in sir. the name of Jesus Christ. The plague of death ends now. Yes. And I use that as a point of contact over everyone here. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that death is looking for you or your loved ones, in the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Help them, please. Help the little one. Now, every family here represented, I stretch my hands and I declare, go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward in Jesus name. Go forward in Jesus name. There is a family that came from Kano. Where are they? I'm seen by the spirit. The Lord is telling me there is a family that came from Kano. We have to be fast. If there is such a family, please let me know. So that we can pray. I'm seeing that they came from Kano. I want to pray for you right now. I don't know if they are inside or outside. Kano, I want to pray because we are going to step into a massive, massive moment of deliverance. Strong deliverance that must separate you from and with anything. Please, if you find that family, let me have them here. I just want to speak to them. You came from Kano. Let me pray for them right now. I'm not saying you are from there. I'm saying you came from there. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. The overflow outside. I want to pray for them. The Lord is showing me something. The overflow outside. Those outside, I just want you to stretch your hand towards the screen. I want to pray for you. The Lord is revealing something to me right now. The overflow outside. Can you help me, camera? I want to pray for them, our media people. Let's work together, please. I'm, I'm just, the Lord is revealing to me those outside, the overflow outside. Please stretch your hands. I want to pray for you right now. I'm seeing that the power of God is coming on certain people. I'm seeing the number 18. I'm going to pray for those inside. I don't know why God is ministering to those outside. But right now, those outside, 
at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and i want you to bring all the people under the anointing outside are you ready one two three shout jesus right now i command those devils to leave in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy ghost bring them outside right now i decree and i declare by the spirit that raised christ from the dead my god i'm seeing yokes breaking breaking right now in the name of jesus the christ of god let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus strong deliverances even for families in the name of jesus the son of the living god let there be deliverance now those outside yokes are breaking 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 for those outside in the name of jesus christ now those of us inside at the count of three i want to pray for you now please pay attention it is true that there are spirits that oppress people it is true that there are spirits that sit upon the destinies of people and continue to sabotage the purposes of god mysterious occurrences in your life habits that you cannot stop patterns that cannot be broken are you ready now all the other overflows following online at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus that name that is above every other name as you shout that one who is oppressed every family under captivity under the sound under the sound of my voice as they shout that name exalted as both lord and christ let there be deliverance right now are you ready koinonia one two three shout jesus, jesus! release their destinies now please bring them out inside outside release their destinies now release their families now help that woman please release them now by the power of the holy ghost release them now please bring them bring all of them out i like you to open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare i am free from everything that ties me down please pray lift your voice and pray declare ye that thou mightest be justified are you praying are you praying don't be distracted i declare liberty i am free by the power of the holy ghost all the overflows in the name of jesus free Every devil, every spirit in the name of Jesus, every spirit manifesting in your dreams, taking you back and programming things to your destiny. Right now, I declare fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Every devil from the dream realm, I cast you. Let them go now. Release your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here? by the name Ishaku. I'm hearing the name Ishaku. Is there someone with that name? Your name? Huh? What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. Daniel Ishaku. Madam, is your name Ishaku? Hold on. Where is your son? You couldn't make it. What is his name? Ishaku. Where is he? Yes, I need to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, if that is your, not your name, please don't come out. 
in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God according to the word of the Lord I pray for you right now a visitation comes not only to your life but to your entire family I stretch my hands towards you and I declare be free now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I bring you life I bring you freedom by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now the Lord is telling me he wants to help them please up the balcony the Lord is speaking to me there are families where it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard working you are the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband practically speaking and it may not necessarily be because of laziness it's just a spiritual pattern that has destroyed people right now I'm praying anyone connected to such a family or such a condition right now the power of God is coming upon you and in case you are standing here and your loved ones are victims of that pattern it is the Lord revealing this to me in the name of Jesus Christ right now right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah now this is an interesting thing I'm seeing but let me pray it anyway there are people the Lord is telling me it started from last year using the guise of the pandemic but it's not really about the pandemic you have been losing money consistently till now consistently whether you are in business or not money has been a gradual decline by the Spirit of God we're not worshiping money here but if God gives a word on that wise we must respond to what he's saying I want to pray for you now because there are some of you altars have been activated using the guise of the pandemic you will be surprised to see what happens to you now father I am praying even as you have instructed me there are individuals here and there are families that this spirit has tied down the resources of the families and continues to bring them down right now let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a very interesting revelation this is for pastors this word I'm about to give is for pastors I'm hearing in my spirit that the seasons of retrogression the seasons of delay you are a man of God here please listen because something is about to come upon you if there are people under the anointing at this word I just wanted to bring them out right now you are you are in ministry here the Lord is saying the powers that are holding you down whether male or female you are in ministry missions pastoral ministry right now I decree and declare there is speed that is coming may that grace come upon you right now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now help them please take that grace now no more delay an unction is coming from heaven changing your condition by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah reverend sir the lord is giving me a word for your wife and the lord is saying she's stepping into a new season of the prophetic and of favor these two graces in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now madam by the spirit of the living god and according to the word of the lord don't bring her out just keep her there step into that season of the prophetic and activation of the grace and the gifting of the spirit upon your life and also of the season of favor in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing 11 people this is a vision I always see when God is speaking to me about promotion or increase I usually see men climbing ladders and I'm seeing 11 people the power of God is coming on them right now the Lord is telling me that your lifting is a strange season you know I began to announce this from last year 
please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus, Father, where are they? Matesko libra katoska debra Whether in career, in business, in politics, right now, take that grace, that grace that lifts. Take that grace in governance and politics. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. You are climbing that ladder and no power will stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help this man, please. Help honorable, please hold him. I speak to you again by prophecy that in the name of Jesus Christ, for as many as have seen, some of you are in a season of promotion, but as it is, there are councils sitting down and there are voices that want to bring you down. I stand by the grace God has given me. Help them, please. I push you now. Step into a new season. I push you now by prophecy. Step into a new season. this woman holding a phone i'm seeing fire coming on her this one holding a phone in front right now i don't know what it is but there is mighty deliverance coming for you and your family take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke everything that is not of god let it release you and let it release your family in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a name, Jennifer. My goodness. There is such breakthrough coming for that family. Who is Jennifer? Don't tell lies. Please, we are serious people here. I told you by faith you can connect. It doesn't have to be, please, let's, so that there is a breakthrough because I'm seeing, I just saw what looked like coals of fire on an altar and I just saw it being destroyed and I saw a door open. This is what I saw. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shatike Parakata, Lekete Brekete Keteko Tosko Topakata, Embrekete Katia. For this family, those of you standing in front right now, every altar tying your destiny down, Pares Kete Brekata, right now, no matter how long it has stayed, those in front here, fire is coming upon you. I set that altar now, in the name of Jesus, I set that altar right now on fire. He must let you go now. I release your destiny. I release your destiny. Everything holding your lifting. It comes under judgment now. Madam, this woman, please tap that woman for me. Lift your hands. The Lord is saying your life is about to change now. I release that grace upon you. Right now, this unction, for if this week will not pass madam you will see the way god will turn help her please god is turning things around in the name of jesus christ you see let me tell you this there is a fearful side to god when he begins to move just like that he will turn things around just like that All of them out for the name that name I called huh from Kano okay you are at the basement let me pray for them I'm going to pray for you all these ones that are out my dear that lady on maroon look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can go ahead Jesus! Jesus! I command that spirit to leave your family right now in the name of Jesus Christ now, for all of you who are standing here, I'm telling you, fire is coming on you. You came for a miracle service. You don't, you don't, don't forbear with evil. If you forbear with evil, it will grow. I pray for all of you right now. Fire from heaven. Let it come upon your life and turn your story around. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the family from Kano, Madam, these are your children. There are two. I'm seeing two in the spirit. Where are they? Where's the other one? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's all right. I pray for you. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that represents hardship, 
we bring it under judgment now. There is a family that I'm seeing a pattern of the death of men. Men in that family. The Lord wants me to pray right now. A pattern of death. Either male children, male husbands, male father, just male figures. Just keep disappearing. Where is that family? It's time for your breakthrough right now. Where are you coming from? Male. Just is like there is a spirit. Huh? Where? By Elsa. Where is that? By Elsa. By Elsa. Who is this? Let me talk My to this woman. In China. She watches online. In China. Yes, sir. She's watching now. Yes, sir. Daughter, connect. I'm about to pray for you and pray for your mother. Madam, you believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. I'm going to pray for you. I'd like you to shout Jesus where you are. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Shout Jesus. Jesus! Right now, I command this altar. Release this woman now. Help her. Release this woman now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is this family I spoke about? Just a spirit that kills men. Please, people of God, look at this. Look at this for God's sake. How wicked and devilish the devil is. All your brothers are dead. Hold on, please. Let me talk to this lady. Where are you coming from? from don't, don't cry. How many of your brothers? <laughs> two, my two brothers. They are all gone. Those are the only brothers are my dad. And your dad is gone. Yes. <laughs> you see, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus. Look how many people are coming. One word from God. Now imagine for God's sake that you leave these same people. Because it would destroy them and also destroy the male people who are here. Please help them. They should be careful with that the, the metal stand. Osh, um, protocol, you should be able to help them on that. Please. Are you seeing what I'm saying? The stand here. Please. The ones in front here too. So they don't fall on it. Look at this. Now all of you look at me. You are standing here because you believe in the power of God. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Such fire will fall on you. And I'm telling you that altar. I don't care how long it is. But my Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us at the count of three. Father, I pray that every altar tying down and killing men. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take that fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance now. The spirit and the altar that destroys men will bring you under judgment. You are under arrest now. You are under arrest now. I release life to this family. Life to this family. And hear me. For some of you who, the ones who left were the breadwinners of the family. I pray may God raise someone else. Take that grace now. May God raise someone else. For some of you, that someone else is you. I place that mantle on your head now. Go and help your family. Go and lift your family. You may not look like it, but let this unction come upon you. Many of you will come to testify here because doors will begin to open from one door to another door to another door. And as I'm praying for them, I'm praying for everyone too. That in the name of Jesus, hear me, hear me please. And believe what I'm saying. If there is any family here that does not have at least one person lifted by God to be to help that family, I stand by the God of my salvation right now at this August miracle service. May God raise people in that family now. May God raise people in that family now. 
May God raise people in that family now. I raise you by prophecy. I connect you to destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Please return to your seats rejoicing. We have to pray for the sick now. I expect everyone to still be praying. Please don't be distracted. This is a very holy atmosphere and God is turning things around. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a grace, a grace, hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit help and visibility. And this grace is coming on everyone, but particularly those in the music ministry. This is what I'm seeing. Uh, maybe I worship team people in the name of Jesus, help. Many of you want to move beyond this level, but I'm seeing that there are powers tying people down. Even though you are worshipers, I stretch my hands. Let me use our worship people as a point of contact. That fire comes on you now. From nowhere may help arise for you. And anyone here following online who is in the worship ministry, the ministry of psalmistry, I declare help arises for you now. Help arises for you now. Help them please. Help arises for you now. May the Lord give your ministry visibility. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let's pray for the sick. If you came here trusting the Lord for a miracle, either for yourself or for someone you're standing in for. Some of you have already been healed with all the several ministrations. But right now I want to minister particularly to the sick. If you came with someone, you can lay hands on that person now. Whatever the condition, remember what I taught you. The maker is also the changer. Please lay your hands. Any part of your body you're trusting God for a miracle for, please lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I want to pray for you right now. Believe in miracles. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones. Go ahead, stand in for them. And there are people following online. You're following from whatever TV station. You're following from the internet by way of social media please connect by faith Jesus still heals the Bible declares Jesus the same yesterday today and forever please connect with someone right now I really believe in miracles did you know that there are people who connect every week from hospitals I know there are people on sick beds right now connecting several hospitals across the world this is because there is a healing Jesus and he does heal he still heals now three things will happen please listen carefully one i am going to begin to pray to rebuke the spirits behind those infirmity and to administer the healing power of jesus i'll do that very fast and then number two the moment i do that be prepared to check yourself already there are miracles happening for those of you who came out under the anointing you know all kinds of spirits usually when they go many supernatural things happen the moment I pray for you, I want you to attempt to do what you could not do before. You find out inside, outside, all the overflows. You find out that there is a miracle that has happened to you. I'm going to request very quickly that you will make your way once we give the permission to, to come out either here or here. We'll have a few minutes to take some testimonies. And then whilst we're doing that, we're going to be um, getting our prayer requests ready. So at the same time, if you are yet to write your prayer request for those who are following online, please do well. You have a few minutes to make that happen. And those who are healed online, you can send in your testimonies immediately by way of our social media platforms. We'll do this very fast so that I now speak into your life. Please listen. Make sure you stay and receive the prophetic word. I need to speak over your life as we are entering what we know to be ember months. I don't know why, what is it about these months, but they seem to hold some mysterious tragedies for people. It takes the prophetic word that comes from scripture 
to build a system of immunity over your life and over your loved ones are you ready now please lay your hands let's pray i believe in jesus i truly believe in miracles i believe god heals i believe he will heal right now just agree with me as i pray the power of god is flowing right now just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out but do well to check yourself if you're laying hands on someone do well to communicate the same instruction father in the name of Jesus you are the healer and you said in your name will cast out devils in your name will heal the sick I am praying right now every spirit that is back of the challenges that your people have been having all kinds of challenges I command those spirits to give way now I command those spirits to give way now. Right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit begin to move from my left to my right, from the front to the back, from inside, outside. Be healed now. Be healed now. Ulcers of all sorts. Be healed now yet now organ failure system failure let there be restoration now there is someone I don't know whether you are here or you are in a hospital following online you have it's like your kidney is damaged the Lord is giving you a brand new kidney now a brand new kidney now eye conditions of all sorts be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit any kind of lump in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare all lumps go now all those who are on crutches wheelchairs or those who are carried on stretchers in the name of Jesus I bring you life be healed now every kind of bone condition back pain pains in your around your muscles your your abdominal region be healed right now in jesus name there's someone who has what we know to be nose bleeding just like that for no reason blood starts coming out of your nose the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone you have suffered a terrible affliction of skin infection you have tried to treat it and treat it and it looks like nothing is gone right now I'm praying for you you will know the power of God has touched you because the itching will stop instantly be healed in Jesus name there is someone's father also i'm seeing i don't know if it's a kidney kidney condition someone's father the lord is healing that person right now in the name of jesus christ all forms of hearing problems be healed right now in jesus name hotness in the body severe heat in the body be healed right now in jesus name now there is someone no matter what you eat it's like you have a problem a unique problem of indigestion it doesn't matter what you eat you have this problem sometimes you even have to throw up what you are eating right now in jesus name the power of god is touching you now all kinds of pain pain around your body be healed right now high blood pressure low blood pressure be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone the side just around your side here i don't know what particularly is the problem but around your side there has been you don't even sleep 
with that side. You have to sleep on one side of the bed. Right now, the power of God is touching you now. In the name of Jesus, any challenge with your shoulder, your shoulder area right now, the power of God is touching you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All conditions of bleeding stops now. Stops now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the name of this condition where people bite their tongue. It looks like um, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone like shaking, convulsion. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command anyone, whether following online in your room, you're having that condition, bringing injuries to yourself. It looks like an epileptic condition. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, all those who are standing in for someone, if you're here, you're standing, I'm seeing people lifting phones, connecting their loved ones or x-rays or whatever it is. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God from here touch your loved ones right now. Touch your loved ones right now. Someone you came here, you, are, you can't bend easily. As soon as I'm done praying for you, try to bend right now. You will see that the power of God has come upon you, granting you the ability to bend. In the name of Jesus, be healed in Jesus' name. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I speak to you in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.